our sweet craving meal kit. So let's get into the unboxing. First thing is Dew Forms, which I do not use. Next is Nail Charms, these little like ice cream donuts and uh, stuff, nail stickers. The instructions, which is very important if you don't know how to do it. Next is the nail file, which is 100 by 180 nail grit. Next is the brush and picker tool, or spatula, like some people call it. Whatever you want to call it, to be honest, because I really don't even know. Then the base coat and top coat. I love the how they you know, did a black and white base coat and top coat. This is the first nail poly gel. Second, third, and four. And now I'm just going to be doing some swatches real quick. So this is what they look like, all tiered and done. They are so cute. I love how they came out. I love the, like, the little shimmery that they added in it. Okay, so for this nail set, I'm going to be using the Gel Gel Peel Off Base Coat because I'm going to take them off. So I already did that and I applied my nail tips and now I'm going to be trimming them down. Now I'm going to be reshaping the nail tips because for some reason they're like, I don't know, after you cut it, it's weird. Now I'm going to be dusting off the nail dust or dust, whatever. And I'm going to be using my e-file and just going to blend in the nail tips to my natural nails. And removing the shine off the tip. Now I'm going to be applying a thin layer of base coat to all my nails. Now I'm going to be doing a fringe tip, so I'm going to be using a nude poly gel, and now I'm just going to be shaping the poly gel into a fringe tip, and after that, I'm going to cure it, wipe it down, and then shape it again with the nail file. After reshaping, make sure you dust off the nails. And now you're gonna pick your first color. I um, chose the yellow one. I don't know what it was called. I forgot. Cream brulee. That's what it was. But I'm just going to um, fill it all in and make sure you get the sides of it because if you don't, then it's gonna be a missing <laughs> spot. But you want to just smooth it out like so.
after I smooth out the nail, I'm going to um, scrape off the excess with the uh, picker tool. And then after that, I'm going to be curing for 60 seconds. And then, now I'm going to be wiping off the nail. I'm going to be filing it and reshaping. You want to wipe off the sticky layer because if you don't, it's gonna get, your nail file is going to get clogged. So it's a very important step to wipe it down. Now moving on to the shaping. So off camera, I did the rest of my nails using the rest of the colors. Now for my ring finger, I'm going to be applying small little dots with all the poly gel all over the nail. I'm going to blend it to make it like um, a mixed colored nail. I don't know what it will be called, but I just thought this would be a cute idea. After that, I'm going to be mixing them all together and patting it down so that they, they look blended pretty well. And I don't know why, but I was not on camera right here and my camera was also very, very blurry. I don't know, I was like focusing on my desk. But anyways, after that, you're just gonna scrape off the excess and then after you file it, make sure you apply a top coat, I mean a clear so that it's like encapsulated kind of so that it's because i only applied a little bit so it was really thin but you want to make sure that it, you know it's thick enough so it won't break I'm just gonna wipe off the nail real quick. Take off the sticky layer and then I'm going to reshape it and file the top of it. Now moving on, I'm going to be buffing the nails all. All my nails I mean to get rid of these scratches. Because you don't want to have scratches when you apply a top coat because you're going to see the scratches. So moving on, I'm gonna be using my I forgot what it was called. Bling gel, so I'm applying the nail charms. I'm doing, I think, two on each nails. Either two or three. And my ring finger, I left it uh, plain because I wanted everyone to see the mixed colors blended. So this is what they look like done and now I'm going to be applying a top coat and make sure you don't get the top coat on the nail charm. I mean, it wouldn't, I guess it wouldn't really matter, but I don't know. I just didn't. I went wrong. <laughs> And after I applied all the top coat, I'm going to cure it for 60 seconds. This is what they look like out of the nail lamp. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is the finished product. Let me know what you think down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, I'll have out like two videos. But if not, see you in the next one. Bye.